What's up guys, we're here with the 2020 Natural State Match Plays. Um, today you're going to have me and William Harrison battling off in the Final Four, and then you'll have Tom Coffin and Luke Humphreys as well. Uh, we're going to play from the shorts here at Tracks at uh, Bishop Park. Uh, we're immediately going to flip that into the championship round, but we're also going to play for third and fourth, so we'll all get, you know, regrouped, and then we'll play longs to figure out who's, who's, the, who's the real champ, taking them over 300, eight weeks of... Uh, long hard work to get this thing where it's at but this is it so here we go all right what's going on disc golf world my name is luke humphreys and i'm here with my good friend james lisi we're going to be bringing you the natural state match play championship these are the semi-final rounds who do we got going james we've got john sanders on the tee pad right now Big shout out to him. Eight weeks of hard work. You heard it right there at the beginning. 64 man bracket. And we have him throwing a forehand right off the top, getting around the Mando and almost making it. Hello. Yeah, great shot from him. Nice forehand. It also plays well for a backhand turnover mid range righty, but there is a Mando there. Looks like Will did not make the Mando. Uh, sometimes a uh, little jitters right out the gate, I think. We got Luke. I think that's your M1. That is the M3. M3, <clears throat> yeah, M3, and he throws it quite often uh, this round. Uh, from the shorts, they're very gettable. Yeah, this hole plays well for the backhand turnover. There is Tom Coffin, haymaker. He goes by ripping on a backhand, and he'll be just outside the circle. There's Will just throwing his up shot, just getting out there. Who could blame him after you miss the Mando, the damage is done. Yeah, that's Tom from Circle's Edge. Puts it right by the chains. And there is Luke, a.k.a. If James Franco in Raleigh Fingers as a kid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The pitcher, yep. I love the hat. No shirt, very casual play. Sun's out, guns out, takes the lead. One, nothing. Yeah, Way I'd, to start it, bud. I'd played a bunch of rounds in the match play already. Without my shirt, I figured I'd just keep it going. I think we discussed what attire was necessary and proper, and hat and shorts was it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, folks. There's John with a hyzer, and I think he got hung up a little bit out wide. Yeah, I think it touched a little bit, but he'll he'll be left with a bid. Um, Will is one behind here, but he, I think he's pulling that Zeus. I think so, and that's optimal. Oh, what a skip. And it gets the skip, so that's perfect right there. Probably inside 20. 25 or somewhere around there. This is the M1. I throw a lot of mid ranges. Um, Prodigy's mid range lineup is fantastic if you haven't given it a shot. M1 and 2 and 3, all fantastic discs with different uses. And we see Tom going up the middle. This is exactly optimal if you do not have the big hyzer. There is a little helix that you can throw through the middle. Um, he did a great job there to get down for a putt. Little jumper from John. Off the top. Those are painful sometimes. And I walked this one off. I think it's just out or just inside the circle. And that was smooth. Yeah. Feeling good, Luke. Looking yeah. good. Two birdies right off the top. Yeah, we threw a few practice holes, you and I did before we played this, and things were feeling pretty good going into it. It, it, it looked great, and that putt right now is looking awesome. And there's Will. Oh looking to make the point back that he just lost on one leaves it a little low that could be you know camera jitters the moment he's typically a good putter oh he's a, he's a great putter he was a little antsy you know he had some family out following a big shout out to his mom she was uh, out there picking up trash and 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 being a positive uh, vibe for everybody yeah great shot uh great comeback putt from john rather um, he, he left himself with quite a bit and goes just over the bucket. Oh man, I was, I was, that's me back there going live on Facebook, and I thought it was going in. It just needed to drop a little bit, and this looks great. Just needs to hyzer in there. Oh, I think it knocked him short. That last gap is uh, can be tough if you don't commit to that yep. low line. Yeah, you definitely got to commit to one of these gaps. I went with the middle one, beat up 300 A2, and put it right there oh man it's just pouring it on making haymaker work really hard just a bit of an early release out of Tom 
you know, he's played a bunch of good golf to get him in this position, so he's capable of, uh, as far as I know, rattling off birdies, so. When you get into a 64-man bracket, hello. Mm. Oh, that Great was bid. so close. When you get into a 64-man bracket like this, it's anybody's game. Small putts make the difference. Where you play makes a big difference. And obviously, who you're going to be playing against where you're playing. Yep, yep, for sure. Looks like John's going back to his little step. Oh, man. Draws metal again for the second hole in a row. He and Will will push again. So after three holes, John has the one point lead. And I'm tapping in another bird to go three up on Tom. Look at that. Rolling. Big shout out to John and his uh, putting. It has really improved. He is a bomber for our area here in Central Arkansas. Uh, and his putting game has improved very well. well. Shout out, John. Good job with this match play event and great throwing. Yeah, so we're seeing him go over the parking lot here. There was a baseball, a kids baseball tournament going on in that parking lot. It's usually not full there, so the hyzer is the play. Um, and we'll see, we'll go to it, but turn it over. He, I, he, he may hit that van. I don't, I don't think he did, but when you flip it over like that, there was a slight breeze. You can see that tree in front, but I wouldn't think it was overwhelming. I think the forehand play was probably the optimum play as we see you take here. And that is just well done, sir. Yep. Hit, hitting the gap proper. Yeah. <clears throat> it sets up well for a forehand. I think that's a pretty optimal play. This is Tom's flippier disc. He's he'll throw it on turnover shots, longer turnover shots. I, I you know I could tell he was getting a little frustrated. He, Tom, you're a great guy and a, a great ambassador for the sport, and and your play is phenomenal. He didn't get over on that one as much as he Tom's wanted, but right there. uh, there's more uh, there's more to play for sure. Without a doubt, we're gonna head to the trees here in a little bit, and anything can happen in there. So. Oh, absolutely. And you are lining up for four in a row. Um, right off the top, you were, you were feeling good. Yeah, yeah, feeling the, the stroke, throwing a lot of mid-ranges and, and smaller stuff like that, which I feel comfortable with. I've, I've been putting a bunch of time in, really, in this quarantine. Well, it's, it's, it's been great to play with you when, when you've been in town. And uh, there he goes, John, hammering the putt. He just had one splash. It feels really good to rebound from that and, and, and smack one right in the, in the heart. Yep, great putt from him. Going to the fifth hole, we've got a creek that plays left of the basket. So anything landing left of that basket is gonna be most likely out of bounds. There are a lot of similar shots um, on this course, but there are obstacles like this one here on this hole. Uh, it's a hole five is par three, 375. There is a ditch just left of the basket and deep, probably 10 feet from it. So the optimal play is to throw this big hyzer, yeah. but drop it right before that tree and be high enough to where you're not skipping way out, out of bounds or just airing it. Yep, exactly. I'm going back to that mid range. I'm um, just feeling like it'll finish straight. And it goes a little bit long, right? Well, I mean, if you've got the power to, to, to glide it straight at that stump and just kind of let it drop in, you're going to really be happy with the result. And there goes somebody getting the hold of one. That was a haymaker, I believe, right? Yep. And, and there he is leaving himself an opportunity. Um, here you are putting uh, kind of at that ditch. This is a little bit of a death putt. Yep, and it's a low ceiling putt as well. That branch is hanging down over the basket, so I've got to throw it a bit low and just... Oh, right in the ditch. Thought I threw it in the water. Yeah. You now, fortunate enough, uh, everybody decided before the round started that if you are not surrounded by water, you're in. Yeah. I think you were in on that one. I think Haymaker actually was out on that next one. Great putt from Will. Will. Straight at the out of bounds ditch. I stayed in bounds here, so that's my par putt. There you go. That's how you clean it up. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, like you were saying, Tom's went out of bounds, so that's another pickup there for me. Mm -hmm. This this is a little tight tunnel shot that, you know, should be... Uh, ooh! Hot skips oh, My from goodness. Yeah, that was a, a higher speed disc, I think, than what is optimal. And he kicks out to a look there, Will, with the, with the tight tunnel shot. There's really this gap that's right before the bucket that if you come swooping in 
Oh. 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 Felt good on that one. That was my H3. Shout out to Kale LaVisca. He gave me that disc and it's been flying great for me. Oh, yeah. I've seen you throw that thing on some great lines. Tom put pretty good pull. I think it was just a little bit right of his line or that would have been somewhere around the bucket. Oh, yeah. There's Will uh, tossing it up there. Um, trying to give it a run, but just make sure that he doesn't get too far out. So. Yeah, you saw Tom's hit a tree, it kicked out right. He's left with a pretty tricky forehand. This thing was so touchy when he threw it. I, a yeah. foot further, and yeah. that is smacking the chain so hard. From my angle, it looked great. Thought it was going in, and he knew he needed it. My disc is pretty close to the basket, so he walked up there, checked it, knew he needed to throw it in. You can see there, I was fairly close. Moving along, six up on Tom. John 2-0 against Will. It's a, getting a little, getting, it's still close. And they're pushing, they're fighting. Yep, yep. Will's missed a, a short one or two, cost him a, probably the tie, but he's all the way in it at this point. Still a ton of stuff to play. That was right of John's line. He meant to go left of that tree, but misses it on the right side, and he'll have a putt from there. Standing on this tee pad, 300 feet, hole 7, uh, par 3, it does not feel 300. To me, it feels about 330, you, 340 almost. You've got that uphill action. Yep. You know, and if you land at the bottom of this hill on hole 7... Um, Almost no putt, and yeah. you really have to be careful with your approach, too, because you can hit one of the trees that's inside the circle and roll down that hill. Countless times I've seen people hit that and roll down. Oh, and then Haymaker just letting go of a little bit early. This is one of the best parts about his game, though. He hit the exact line he was looking for, and he's under the bucket. That was fantastically played. You won't find a better player in our area uh, here in Arkansas that is... Uh, any better than 200 to 20 in i take tom coffin all day yep all yep. Day. he'll show it multiple times this round he's just got that nose up putter i was behind john on this putt when he did it oh and God. it was awesome That's there we go with the trot it back mitch trotter doing his thing yeah shout out to mitch oh. for these replays look at this just pure elevator smacky got it yeah and just filming in general thank you mitch trotter if you guys enjoy this definitely subscribe and like it it uh helps him bring more content to you so yeah please do mitch does a great job in our area and uh helps promote the sport on this level as well as in attendance and and, and helping with the uh, local oh, league and look at you wow. not even hesitating moving you were strolling arms flaring you were feeling it right now yeah i felt like that was going in i knew that John had just banged a big one, warmed up the chains for me. So. Oh, yeah. Nothing will motivate you more. Here is a really tight line going down the left side on hole eight. Good one. This yeah. is an extremely tight hole to hit on the left side. On that the right great. side. Go. Oh, look at this. Go. That's, That's all day, buddy. Oh, that is a beautiful shot. Yeah, you're looking for um, a late turn to the right. Um, it's downhill, and there's plenty of trees to hit. I kind of threw it high, but... I also that, that A2 again? That was the M3. The yeah, M3 goes Whoa. right Whoa. by the bucket. <laughs> I thought it was in for a second. What, what a line. I feel like the disc was in the air. Haymaker going out. Oh, he just he just catches catches the, the, the gap on the left. He's here. got about 250 in from here. Throwing up that putter. Oh, ooh, oh look at this. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Tom look. Coffin throwing a haymaker in there. I will take that man 200 to 230 feet all day long. The bank is open. He saw me put it right next to the bucket off the tee, knew he had to do something, and he pulled it off. I mean, hats off. He had to, to, to show you he was there. He reminded us what got him there. Hell of a shot, Tom. Great shot. Fun to watch. Saw that one live. Couldn't believe it. And it, it was all of 250. There he is pulling it out. Just a beautiful line. John uh, kind of left some meat on the bone here. Yeah, this is uh, all of 28 feet here. Oh, we glanced it. Yeah. And this gives Will a nice birdie on hole eight for Will. Yeah, that's a great two to get. I think um, it's kind of a bonus pickup. Right about this time in the round, they, these competitors are reminding you what got them here. 
yeah. you know, the, the, their competitive nature and not giving up and, and continuing to fight. Kudos uh, to Tom on that shot and a nice birdie, Will. Yeah. Way to get the train rolling. Yeah, well said. This is a great looking shot if it gets back left. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so right deceiving when it hooks over like that when you do that helix shot. But there's plenty of space out there to the right, um, and then it allows it to come back. Oh, there's John. We got over a little bit on it. Yeah. Got a gliding mid range there? I it might have been his escape. I think he. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, enjoys that. I am throwing my M3 here. Imagine that. And <laughs> looking for it to turn over, it basically just holds straight, though. You know, from the T pad, I thought this was. 40 feet, you know, but it's so deceiving. You know, when we got up there, it's, you know, it's pretty close. Yeah, just outside the circle, I think. Oh, Tom giving it full flight, trying to give it full flight. I couldn't tell if he was trying to go down the left gap there or just kind of got away from him. But it happens to all of us. Yeah, he's going for the hole at the end of the day, trying to throw in 340. Here he goes. He's going to throw this one in too, guys. Oh, good. Great up. Yeah. Great up. Impressive what he can do. Right around the green, scrambling wise, he's still got all the tools. John with a tricky knee from about 52, 53, something like that. Yep. Oh, he gave it a bit. Mm hmm. Just, Just underneath. Oh, wow. That tree that he went on the right side of is, wow, what a line. Oh, he didn't like it. Yeah, it was. Did you get the giggles there? Man, worst putt of the day. I just, my focus was off. Oh, that's all right. That's, that'll happen. Oh, no. And that was to grab another birdie, um, which is getting holes eight and nine back to back with we're on, fantastic. We're on, we're on hole nine, and I think I've seen three or four maybe that he dinked or splashed already. Yeah. Oh, that's that, You know, he's, he's, he has a good attitude about it. Way to go, Tom. Yeah, they're not bad putts go, either. No, no. Oh, this is this is close. So this little island green here, if you were left, you were wrong. It's 180 feet. That one's wet. Here we go. This one is going short. That's got to be wet, too. Oh, yeah, mate, I think it was close. I couldn't tell if it stayed up. It, surrounded by water is good. Or is not good. Another one, stable 300A2, just short but inbounds. It's a deceiving 180, you know, and it's... Uh, it can be tricky. And, you know, sometimes you get a little wind off that water. Um, shout out to, to Bryant Parks Department, Chet Dykus, um, for everything they do for uh, disc golf here in uh, central Arkansas. The course looked amazing out there that weekend. And uh, uh, they really work hard. And uh, they do some great events. Uh, shout out to them. Thank you so much for everything you do. Yep, for sure. Can't thank them enough. This is the putt you don't want on this hole if you go long. You're looking back at the oh, water. he buried it. He Great buried point. it. Yep. Way to go, Tom. Way to remind him. He reminded you, didn't he? He did. He did. <laughs> Let me know that it wasn't over. Oh, I love this. This is fun. So that's a push between Tom and I. Oh. John was in bounds, and so he picks up another stroke on Will, who was off, oh. um, out of bounds off the tee. This hole right here is so blind you're teeing off from out in that gap there is such a tight look on this 200 foot par 3 hole 11 here at the tracks in bryant a lot of people throw this big hyzer and and plinko kind of get down there and uh, see what happens yeah i think that's the play at the end of the day you just throw it into that tree and, and hope you can uh filter somewhere to have a putt with the high basket inside the low ceiling Makes it tough, and that's a decent that's, position to be in. But it's a little blocked. But it's it's you know it's really hard to get that gap. And if you throw something glidey on this that doesn't hyzer, there's a big pond to the right where the uh, train tracks are, where you can see the train come over when you play, uh, and that's out of bounds. And you got to be careful with that. And there's Tom, kind of short, but kicked in. You know, kicked out. So maybe he's on the other side of that to be able to get a look. Yeah. Oh. Here we're looking at a uh, little flick putt bid. Pretty good, pretty good shot from John. Maybe a little bit right, but it was anding in. Tom's got a bid, stand still. Oh, man. He, he wanted it. 
He did. And there's a tricky one from Will. High basket, low ceiling. Oh, oh my And did, did that spit no, out? Dude. Did that spit out again? I couldn't believe how many times he'd spit out already oh. thus far. It just it felt like it was kind of being unfair to him. You know, I mean, the disc golf gods can smile on you some days, and other days they just, you know, there's a force field around the basket. They won't let you do it. Luke beats Tom. Yeah. <laughs> and Tom, that is fantastic. Yeah. You heard it here first, folks. Here we go with the push. Yep. So we go on to a, uh, a a longer hole, longest hole we've played so far. And you know, right now we we've got a a, a decent match here of four one. I mean, it's only three hole difference uh, mm -hmm. between John and Will. Congratulations on moving to the finals there, Luke. Yeah, thank you. You know, you you worked hard, sixty four man bracket, and you handled business on your end. Uh, heck, you beat me. So strong. I thought I thought once I got past old man Lisi. Out of pep. <laughs> Pops, yeah, Pops is a putter. Right, we go. That's a pretty tricky shot from Will. Well played, though. We've got John looking at about a 25-footer. He's got it lined up. These are the ones he's been canning today. Get you some. Mm. That's right. Way to go, John. Good putt. Yep. Well played. Got it to stay. I think this is Luke to push. Will to match. We got the push. Yep. John and Will push. We've got 290. Um, low ceiling and definitely don't want to be right on this hole. You'll we'll see a lot of putters in mid ranges. Looks like that's what these guys are going with. You know, I, I like a low line and drive here just to keep it fair. If you get too far right and too far left, you're just not going to get a putt on the hole. Yep. So something that glides a little bit better totally uh, agree. straight down the fairway is probably what you want to do from the shorts on hole 13. Hmm. And that's off the top. Yeah, it was right on the pole though, just a little hard. Oh, and that's another one, too. And that was right side, but I mean, that thing. Oh, look at him. He's, These he, baskets are not being nice. Now he's counting them. Oh, and that, that tough break, buddy. Man, hard to watch. He's throwing a bunch of good putts. I hope he keeps doing it. So there's, uh, he's up by three right now, John is. And uh, Will's really got to turn it on uh, if he wants to. Oh, where are you? Let's see. Um, oh, it's it's dry, so it's not surrounded. City. No, wow. not surrounded. That's very atypical. If you go past this basket, you most of the time end up going out of bounds. Now, which, how, you say? how are you dry? Yeah, getting over there. That just a stroke of stroke of luck there. And that 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 you know that rule this round helped a couple people, and then there he goes, no. and and life is unfair. Wow. Look at yeah. that splashing out now he's splashing in i mean kind of unnecessary i, I feel like john was left with a pretty tricky putt it wasn't the time to blow by um maybe maybe the time to give a soft bid i think you i think you put it on the pole you yeah. know and make him make the putt yeah. you know rather than run i mean no guts no glory after you've splashed out maybe. four or five times i know it can be discouraging but you know you're, you're, you're playing for the finals here yeah and that's a great shot from Will there. It looked like John went out of bounds right. There's a river creek that plays past the basket. Oh, yeah. So um, I think that Will was parked and took a stroke there. Yeah, we see it. He got two there, so he's only three back now. Yeah, so this is these are must wins. Yep. If this if this if Will does not win this hole, yeah, he's dormy at this point. Then he's got to win John all three is to put. Going straight to the finals and yeah, I'm playing you for the championship. Yeah, the worst thing that John can do right now is push the match, oh, which yeah. would go into overtime. Just throw it in bounds and throw. How about we just park it? Yeah. Let's just do that. Yeah, pretty pretty good play. What a heck of a shot. Will needs it. Has to have it to push the match. Go in. Mm. He, Tough putt, straddled out. Well, I mean, these guys did fantastic yeah, to get to this point, and, and and John just laid up there. There, yeah. there was there was no no point in I guess running at it. Um, and so now we're going straight to the finals, guys. And uh, thanks for joining us.